hello viewers in our today's class we are going to discuss on one of the important antenna parameter that is antenna polarization so we will see the importance of antenna polarization see here first we will see what is a polarization and its definition simply it is nothing but orientation of electric field component in a particular direction so orientation or direction both are same how the electric field component is oriented based on that the polarization can be defined in a simple textual definition polarization is defined by orientation of electric vector component right so while considering this polarization one point we have to keep in mind that is the direction of orientation should be considered for at least one complete cycle that means for example in one part of the cycle uh, it is oriented in one way in another part if it is changing means we cannot consider for polarization that's why at least one complete cycle the direction of the field component should be maintained that we can uh, define as a polarization or orientation of electromagnetic field that is simply uh, orientation of your electric or magnetic field component we can call it as polarization now from these diagrams we can understand it very clearly see here i am taking example of this one this is y component as well as this is our x axis or component anyway we can take right look into this diagram here the change of the wave is along only one direction it is changing along the x axis right this we call it as horizontal direction like this so all this is horizontal change over so this change we can call it as horizontal polarization and if you come for a second case here you can see clearly the change is in vertical direction so like this so vertical means like linear straight in the upward direction so this is called as vertical polarization the third case is different it is neither in here it is in y direction that is upward direction here it is in horizontal or uh, this x direction here it is neither in x nor y in between them with some angle 45 degrees so these type of category comes under slant position this can be categorized in another way here first we will concentrate on these two horizontal and vertical polarization these two are combinedly put in a category called linear polarization that we will discuss now see here polarization can also be defined like this it is nothing but behavior of electric field vector as it propagates in time see here uh, we know that antenna antenna is a concept with the time varying components time varying field components so here the polarization also linked with this time that means for each and every time period we should observe how the orientation or direction of waveform is changing based on that so many antenna parameters are linked that uh, you can understand by the end of this video first now see here this diagram is related to the the propagation of electromagnetic waves in free space see here we have marked in two colors so here this always shows the movement of your magnetic field component from here to here like this and this position is showing your electric field component and this is always the direction of propagation of wave direction of propagation of wave and you can see observe very simple point to this direction of propagation wave this magnetic component and this electric component are perpendicular what we can say always these three are mutually perpendicular with each other and we have just given some example here if you go for vertical polarization component see clearly the electric field component is oriented vertically or upward direction for horizontal polarization or horizontal component the electric field is oriented like this downward or like this horizontal direction or horizontal position for antennas why this is important is see he always in antennas keep one point in mind the physical orientation of antenna is straight the way linked to the polarization for example if you take your antenna in this vertical position then that particular antenna gives vertical polarized waves 
if particular antenna is horizontally placed automatically it produces horizontally polarized waves so it is straight the way linked with each other and here this is mostly ground based type uh, uh, applications we will be preferring this vertical and for air that means as you go for uh, upward of the surface from the ground automatically there we will be preferring the horizontal polarized antennas okay see here this is actually general uh, polarization types that is linear circular as well as elliptical just we'll have quick review of this and we'll move to actual antenna concept whenever we go for linear polarization always keep one point in mind if the change of this polarization is along only single axis only along single axis it is treated as linear polarization say this is y and this is x if the change is along only y direction it is treated as vertical polarization and if the change is only along x direction in this direction it is treated as horizontal polarization these two are combinedly referred as linear polarization right some ways we can call this as major axis and minor axis also anyhow it is different type of representation and you come for the second case here what is happening and this is the way how we have projected only one change over here that is in linear polarized wave okay and if this is the case of uh, horizontal polarization means here you can change the waveform like this you have the projection like this and see the for the second case if you come for the case of circular polarization here you can observe one point it is not fixed to one axis it will be changing and see at zero time period the waveform will be here the field component after some time it shifts to this position next here next like this and it will be shifting over its position throughout this circle and here we cannot define only the changes along x axis or y axis it is undefined that means it will be changing over throughout all directions so such type of polarization we call it as circular polarization and for this circular polarization we will not be able to define in which particular uh, uh, direction that it will be changing it will be continuously changing over like this so the waveform changeover will be like this right and here one point is the changeover between this major and minor axis is always equal that means magnitudes of these components are equal magnitude of the components will be equal just like if you take a circle at the center if you mark the components how they are equal in the same way here the magnitudes of the components will be equal for example say you will take ex and dy they both will be exactly same and if you go for the third case elliptical elliptical shape will be like this right here the field components will be not equal say for example ex and ey these two will not be equal that type of polarization is simply we call it as elliptical polarization suddenly if you see if you, you may think these two are same but there is little bit change over a difference that is this one here the magnitude of the components is equal but in this case the magnitude of components is not equal from this diagram you can see that change here the axis is not equal right here you can see it is shorter on this end it is longer that is the difference but here if you go through this diagram on this side the axis and on this side the axis both are exactly same such type we call it as circular polarization okay so for antennas also we can use any of these three polarizations based on applications they are selected next what is the importance of antenna polarization this is the important one we need to learn in a new way see here i have just taken example of two antennas uh, one is at this uh, first position the second one at some distance uh, here and here see this first antenna is placed this first antenna is placed vertically and second antenna is also placed exactly in the same vertical position while you place both antennas like this and here we started some transmitting some signal like this see here it is traveling this way and it reached the end point and here the receiving polarization plane is like this both are aligned that means both are in same polarization in this case 
the signal strength received will be maximum come to the second case here what has happened i did not change the position of transmitting antenna but slightly i changed the position of the receiving antenna so here what has happened see here some mismatch there is alignment mismatch because of that what will happen the signal receiving capability will be reduced completely the signal cannot be received by the receiving antenna this in a better way we are going to take with examples and we are going to look just look here i have taken three examples like this how polarization is a very critical issue in consideration of antennas we learn now see three cases we have taken proper alignment improper and what will be the case of different one first case proper alignment see here maximum power transfer from trans antenna a to b when this can happen we'll see see uh, the orientation of antenna a is vertical the green line is showing the position of antenna vertical the orientation of antenna b is also vertical these two are vertically perfectly matched antennas in this case we can expect maximum signal will be transferred and received by receiving antenna and if you go for the second case what has happened we'll see we did not change the position of uh, transmitting antenna but the receiving antenna have completely changed it to horizontal position this stayed in vertical only in this case the power transfer or uh, signal will be minimum so the signal received by receiving antenna will be worst or minimum there will not be difference in transmitting antenna transmission but the problem is at the receiving antenna this point you need to understand see in the first case and second case the transmitted power is same here same here it is same but the change is in receiving power why that has happened because i have changed the position of my receiving antenna these two are not aligned properly so automatically this has happened that is the power transfer has reduced if we go for the third case that is circular to linear see practically it is not always possible to have same oriented antennas so in such cases this circular polarized antennas are a bond so a boon to us why because you can understand from this one see here for transmitting antenna i have considered circular polarization and for receiving antenna i have taken a linear polarized in some direction i already said no in first one 45 degree some angle neither uh, uh, horizontal polarization nor vertical some other angle like this in between so in this case half of the power transferred from transmitting antenna a to b at least see here in this case minimum power is transferred but here in this case at least half of the power can be received by the receiving antenna why this has happened is in circular polarization the orientation of field component will be continuously changing it it uh, what happens there is actually as a field vector appears to be rotated here the field vector will be rotating along this direction so while it is rotating like this what will happen it uh, loses all its directivity that means it loses its or orientation whereas if you look here for these two cases of linearly polarized antennas it is possible to improve the directivity of an antenna that means we can improve the radiation in one particular direction that is possible for linear polarized whereas in circular polarization we cannot definitely expect the more directivity of the antenna in one particular direction why because the field component will be rotating continuously okay so in antennas coming to the point of polarization matching of polarization in antennas is very very important otherwise what is the problem we face is the power received by the antennas reduces if both antennas are perfectly matched that is transmitting and receiving antennas are matched automatically maximum power is transferred so based on this concept only antenna polarization is selected so applications uh, related to polarization see how importance is given for this polarization we can understand from this if the antenna polarization is linear according to that some applications are there if it is circular based on that some applications are there just we'll have a quick review on that in linear polarization already i said we have two types they are horizontal polarization 
and vertical polarization if you go for the case of horizontal polarization for television transmission purpose this is particularly preferred and air related communication that means as you are moving away from the ground level this is preferred and if you go for the vertical polarization mostly it is preferred for mobile communication as well as hill areas that means uh, uh, if you have mountain areas uh, far away distance areas there we will prefer the vertical polarization and also for very low frequency signals also we will prefer this vertical uh, polarization and uh, here if you come for the case of circular polarization all the satellite related applications la satellite communication related applications we will use this circular polarization why because uh, just example if you expect a signal from ground station towards the space there can you control the polarization it is very difficult so if you are able to use a circularly polarized antennas for such type of applications then we can expect uh, the power receiving capability to maximum percentage if we use uh, uh, like uh, linear polarized antennas we cannot guarantee the maximum power transmission why because they are fixed if for example if you place linearly uh, in vertical position it will be fixed on to that portion only it will not change its orientation if you fix on to horizontal it will be fixed like that only but if you go for the case of circular it will be in rotating mode right so because of that mostly space related applications they will prefer the circular polarization accordingly particularly for circular polarization some antennas are also des designed especially helical antenna is very famous among them in our next classes we will be discussing on different types of antenna there you can understand this okay so like that by varying the different types of polarization antenna applications are also linked so antenna polarization is such an important uh, antenna parameter in a simple way how we can define is it is nothing but orientation of your electric field component or direction of the electric field component simply defines your polarization it is right away linked to your antenna if antenna is placed vertically that is a vertical polarized antenna if antenna is placed horizontally that is a horizontally polarized antenna that's it okay okay thanks for watching this video thank you